What's up guys, Nintel Nick here, and welcome back to our episode of Mario Kart Mondays. Today we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of the Mario Kart Wii Hack Pack. And in the last episode, I think we did the Lu Paper Luigi Cup with uh, Baby Luigi. And um, now I'm pretty sure we're going to the Wario Hack Cup with, um, obviously we have to go with Wario, because the Wario Hack Cup, gotta go with Wario. Uh, and let's also go with Wario's ride too, which um is Wario's bike, but in this mod it's called Wario's ride. Um, so yeah, in the Luigi Cup we did that, and uh, our paper Luigi Cup I should say. So now we're going over to uh, Wario's Hat Cup, which uh, has Cannery Bay, Sideways Beach, Autumn Raceway, and Molten Mountain Way. So let's go ahead and start. Seems like all these courses are completely new. Haven't heard them in the uh, custom tracks that we played before. Also haven't heard as they were uh, races uh, from the original Mario Kart Wii, but could be wrong about that. Um, this one kind of looks like uh, Yoshi Circuit to be honest. But as you can see by the map, it's not because... Yoshi Circuit is shaped as Yoshi, but it kind of looks similar, um, except for the fact that we have uh, question mark blocks. And what the heck is with? Okay, pull it, Bill. That was a bit weird, but um, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, the Womps are uh, question mark blocks for some reason in this track. I don't know why, but it's only in this track here, I think. Um, anyway, the custom music that's playing sounds like something from Sonic. I forget, the, I forget the exact name of the game, or the exact name of the music, but I also forget the name of the game, too. It sounds like something from, like, Generations, I think. But, uh, yeah, I never played that game. I really want to, to be honest, but I can't because I don't have a Xbox 360 or a PS3. So, um, sadly I can't play that game. There is one on the, uh, 3DS, but it's not as good, I'm pretty sure. But, um, I mean, I guess it still is an option. But it's like playing the Wii version of, uh, Sonic Unleashed, which I actually do have. Um, I don't know how those guys didn't get affected by the lightning bolt, but, okay, I just died there. I guess maybe they had invincibility or, um they fell off or something like that because I guess the CPUs don't know what to do as you saw before with that bullet build trying to go up somewhere I don't even know but um yeah that itself was pretty weird um, anyway talking about Sonic games though I did get to play um, Sonic Colors I played it on Dolphin and um, that one's pretty fun um, probably my favorite Sonic game to be honest and uh, hopefully Sonic Forces is just gonna be just as good if not better um, anyway playing as Wario right here kinda remind me of uh, me playing Wario Land 3 which I've been playing quite recently and uh, quite frequently too and okay sideways beach is just Koopa Cape great wish I knew that but like I said, you can't really tell by the title of the stage. It should say Koopa Beach. But I guess it's a new track because it's a new title. Kind of just like how Dr. Mario and Mario are named differently, but they still are the same exact character. So, yeah. But I mean, this is a hackback, so it should be something different. This isn't Nintendo who's saying... It's a different uh, name of the stage, but yeah, it's the same thing as a uh, old stage. And uh, the custom music that's playing is um, it's a theme from uh, Pokemon. I forget the exact name of it. I think it's like a route, like Route 104 or something from Pokemon X and Y or something like that. 
But um, I remember hearing a remix of it that was pretty good. So it sounds pretty similar to that. And I remember uh, seeing it. Which, um, by the way, if you haven't seen, uh, I like watching, um, uh, or not watching, but I guess listening to, um, this one remix, um, I guess place or video that has a uh, bunch of different uh, Nintendo remixes, and it's actually really good. Um, I think it's like called like Nintendo Remixes Part Two. I don't know what happened to Part One. I think it got like copyright claims or something like that. But um, it's called Part Two. I think it's called like Nightcore, Nightcore uh, Nintendo Remixes. It's got stuff like uh, Mute City. A nice remix of that. Um, Temple of Time. Um, also has like some Sonic songs, like Sonic Boom, a remix of that. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog song, I forget what it's called. I think it's called um, I Am, which is a good remix that is on that um, video too. So I recommend uh, checking it out if you guys are interested in like Nintendo music like I am. Cause I actually have a music uh, playlist that I have on my channel here that um, is actually public too. So if you guys want to check that out too, it's pretty it's a pretty good uh, list of songs that I have that I enjoy listening to. Most of them do actually have lyrics, but and most some of them are not actually uh, Nintendo songs or t Nintendo music, but I think they're all video game music. So. If you enjoy video game music in general, check it out if you want to. Man, I'm messing up here. Alright, me and DK got hit by that electric thing. Alright, hopefully we can uh, make a comeback. Can we get in third here? Can I get in fourth at least? Alright, at least I got in fourth. Not bad. I mean that's pretty that's pretty bad to be honest because like this isn't even a custom course this is a course for Mario Kart Wii I should be in first but yet I come in first for the uh, custom track but here I'm coming in fourth uh, I guess because the CPUs are um, they know the track unlike the other ones all right so now we're at Autumn Raceway which looks new hopefully the last course is also new so that majority of the courses are completely new that I haven't played. Really? Why am I messing up on the start here? Alright, at least I get a good item at last place here. But, of course, I just fall off. Great. I don't know what the song is, but I'll let it play a little bit and... Maybe I'll figure it out later on. But yeah, as I was talking about with Wario Land 3, it's a pretty great game actually. Um, came out like 2000, but it's still a great game on the Game Boy Color. I do uh, prefer though Wario Land 4 over it. People say Wario Land 3 is actually the best, but I actually kind of disagree with them. Um, I actually like Wario Land 2 better than Wario Land 3. To be honest, like, I feel like Warrior Land 4 is the best, then Warrior Land 2, then Warrior Land 3. Because, like, with Warrior Land 2, all your abilities are with you at all times. And, um, but in Warrior Land 3, you actually have to, you get different abil you get your abilities back later on throughout the game. So, it's kind of like Metroid, I guess. And, wow, why do I keep missing that jump? Do I have to do a trick in order to get that jump? Um, but yeah, anyway, in uh, Warrior Land 2, you start off with all your uh, power-ups and stuff, like being able to throw enemies, being able to ground pound. But in Warrior Land 3, you actually have to get them, which I kind of find them annoying because then you have to um, replay the levels and backtrack them, and then use your abilities to your um, advantage to um, find new treasures and stuff, which I guess is pretty cool because um, it's, a, I guess, a much longer game because of it. But, um, just, I, I don't really like the fact of backtracking and stuff and doing things over again, kind of. 
Alright, we're doing really bad here in ninth place. Alright, so I have to know to do a trick. There we go. Now I make the jump. And of course I hit a bad question mark block or fake question mark block. Really? Are you kidding me? I didn't even come in ninth. This is a terrible, terrible run. Alright, at least, okay, I, I was going to say, at least I'm in third, but I'm not. Hopefully we can get in third, but I'm not making any promises. I want to get in third, but it depends on the race. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> this kind of looks like, uh, what's it called? Um, I forget what the, it's like a volcano one. It's also in the Star Cup, which is kind of ironic. Um, it's also a Mario Kart 8. I forget the name of the track already. But as you can see, it only has two laps. So it must be pretty long. Um, I still can't think of the track. I'm trying to think of it. Wow, thanks for pushing me off. Whoever that was. Oh wow, okay, a lot of us got pushed off, apparently. Oh yeah, Crumble Volcano, that's it. That's the uh, track that I was thinking of. I just couldn't think of it. Alright, so we're in second. Nice. So, like These platforms right here remind me of uh, Crumble Volcano. And was I supposed to go down here? Okay, yes I was. It's my first time playing the track, so I don't know. Alright, so apparently we can go on lava now. That looked like lava. That looked like lava from like Minecraft or something. Right now, I'm actually feeling Minecraft vibes right now because we're in an underground cave area. It just reminds me of it. Okay, apparent. What the heck? That's like a 90 degree turn, but like, it's facing the wrong way. Like, you're supposed to go... Okay, this one is not um, a 90 degree turn. That, that was just... Oh my god, I just have to remember to keep doing tricks. Tricks are for kids, but yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> but like for some of the jumps, you actually have to do a trick in order to make it. But I, can't, I just can't do it. And I can't like remember to do it either. Alright, this is bad. Because Baby Daisy is in, uh, I think, third or fourth. And uh, she's in third, so we have to beat her in order to get in third. So, hopefully we can make a pretty good comeback, even though it doesn't... Oh, come on. How are you supposed to do that? Alright, well, now I'm in six. Okay, now, never mind, I'm in fourth. Alright, it looks like Yoshi and uh, Daisy are having some problems, though. You can see them on the map, they're just, like, stuck. It doesn't even look like Yoshi's moving. It looks like... Daisy's trying to get out, but like Yoshi's just stuck. He's just like, where am I? <laughs> All right, so we passed Baby Daisy. Dry Bowser's right there. We're on Minecraft lava now. So I think I should be Dry Bowser since uh, what you call in third, uh, Baby Daisy. Now she's ahead of me because. Okay, good. At least now she's in fourth because uh, dry bones. All right, so yeah, that, how are you supposed to do that? Like the boost pads are pointing this way, but yet the platform is like on the side. Does that make any sense? And that that was just what? Why? Why is that boost pad even there? Can you actually make it? Like maybe if you do a trick afterwards. We can make the jump without the other boost pad. Alright, hopefully I can just stick this first place. Don't go in the grass. Okay, whatever. We got it. Alright, so I think this guarantees me at least third, maybe second. Did I come in second? Okay, I came in third. It's not bad. How did Baby Daisy still beat me? Alright, whatever. Okay, so that was the... Uh, Wario Hat Cup. So next is the uh, Paper Lakitu Cup. Actually, I think it's... I forget the name of the uh, partner, the Lakitu uh, partner in Paper Mario. 
I think it's actually that guy's name. And it's Cup afterward, of course. So, um, maybe I'll find, like, a mod to, uh, make, um, like a lack of two character to play as for next episode, but, um, I mean, I'll try to find one. I think I actually did play as one, um, in my Mario Kart Wii custom tracks. Um, so maybe I'll just find that and play as him for the next episode. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Mario Kart Mondays. We'll be continuing the Let's Play the Mario Kart Wii hack pack right here on Tonic. Bye.